Rolle's theorem states that if you have a continuous function on some closed interval a, b, and differentiable on the open interval a, b, and if f of, b, f of a and f of b are equal, then there exists a number c between a and b in the open interval such that f prime of c equals zero. So let's look at a graph to see if we can figure out what this is saying. Here's a function that meets the uh, specification of Rolle's theorem. It's continuous from a to b and differentiable on the open interval a, b. Now notice that this function starts here at f of a, goes up, has a high point, and then starts to decrease all the way back down to f of b. This maximum in here is going to have a slope, uh, a tangent with a slope of zero. In other words, f prime of c is going to be zero. So what this Rolle's theorem is saying is there is a tangent between a and b such that its slope is zero. Now, we'll prove this by looking at the possibilities. We're assuming that Rolle's theorem conditions are met. Let's look at case one. Let's suppose that this function that we're talking about is a constant function, like f of x equals 2, or something like that, just a number. Well, we know that the derivative of a constant function is 0. So, obviously, f prime of x equals 0 for all x in that interval. So, so that's kind of trivial. Now let's look at case 2. Case 2 states that, well, it, it addresses this situation similar to what we have in our uh, graph up here. And I've drawn a little one over here. Let's suppose that there's an x value such that f of x is greater than f of a. Well, then there has to be a maximum in here. The, the function starts at f of a, it goes up, has to go back down to f of b. So there has to be a maximum in there, and in that case, the slope would be 0. The slope of the tangent would be 0. In other words, f prime of c would be equal to 0 in, in that case. Now, case 3 is similar to it. Let's suppose that there is an x value such that f of x is less than f of a. Well, that would be a case like this one. I've drawn a little graph over here. Notice the function goes down, hits a low point, and back up. Well, at this low point, at this minimum, the tangent would have a slope of 0. So, f prime of c would be equal to 0. Now, by looking at each one of these three cases, we've proven Rolle's theorem.